Hi, this is Niels Schiffauer, Delta Kilo 8, Oscar Kilo. In this video, I would like to introduce you into nothing less than the next big thing in amateur radio. This is the SDR transceiver ZS1 or Zeus. It was developed by a team around Alexander Gromov from St. Petersburg, Russia. The ZS1 covers 1.5 to 35 megahertz receive and it transmits in all amateur radio bands with up to 10 watts of power. It comes to life with beautiful and compact software Soits, written by Jan Alexenko. Surely this software will be developed further, but even in this version it covers more than just basic functions and makes it very easy to control the transceiver. Let's have a general look on what can be expected. The biggest window is the spectrum. Yes, a waterfall representation of the signals will be added in the near future. The spectrum is centered around tuner frequency. The panorama or width of the spectrum can be switched from a bandwidth menu between 5 MHz and 12.5 kHz. You can tune to any frequency within this panoramic window, just with a mouse. By the way, there are also some other possibilities to change the frequency, by clicking right into the amateur radio band you want, or by the slider below the spectrum, which represents the whole reception range from 1.5 to 35 MHz. By mouse wheel, in those steps, you choose in the scroll window. Or by direct entry via the keypad. The grey portion is the audio bandwidth. It can be controlled on high pass, low pass or tuned as bandpass filter. With it you can tailor selectivity of the receiving part for the best ratio of signal and interference. The coming between one eight zero zero and two one zero zero one zero four zero degrees one five. These are just the basic controls and windows. There are many more features like equalizer and efficient speech processor, noise processor with automatic notch filter, and even readout of the transceiver's temperature. Despite of the many features, you won't get lost at the graphical user interface and it runs on even a rather old PC.
This SDR transceiver delivers an output of up to 10 watts. Thus, it is an ideal tool for serious QRP work, which starts below even 5 watts. With digital modes like PSK31, also this small power is your key to open the world, even at a dipole. This slide shows you how far a PSK31 signal does reach with 100 watts from Germany. It has been made with VOA cap for an October afternoon on 15 meters. If you reduce power to 5 watts only, you get this coverage. OK, you can't reach the farthest corners of the world, but nevertheless, coverage still is really impressive. Other combinations of month, time, frequency and mode will take your signal to each place around the world. You work these modes in USB mode. To do so, you need a second software. This must code and decode the mode you want. There is a fast range of software, doing this task fluently and free of charge. To make most out of the combination transceiver software and digital mode software, you should opt for a multi-mode software, which can be integrated almost seamlessly into the transceiver. For this, that is one software does provide a cut interface. This cares not only for transferring control data like frequency and mode between transceiver and this third-party software but it also switches from receive to transmit and vice versa. This is done by so-called virtual comports. The software for them is provided by the transceiver. It is a preferred strategy to work with just one software for controlling the receiver, coding and decoding. I will show it with PSK31 as example. Set the transceiver to SSB and to its broadest bandwidth. Its audio will appear in the waterfall window of the multi-mode software. You can click onto each and every signal and the software will decode it. Most valuable are multi-channel decoders. As example, they decode all signal of one mode within the audio bandwidth in parallel. A click onto the entry takes you right to the correct frequency. Even for transmitting, you need not to change the transmitter's frequency. This is done automatically, because the multimode software chooses the matching audio frequency for modulating the transceiver. So you automatically are right on the spot.